Thank you for calling Happy Hearts Rescue and Adoption Center. How can I help you? Why? Thank you for calling Happy Hearts Rescue and Adoption. Wonderful. My name is Sarah. How can I help you? Tina, nice to meet you. Oh, you brought a dog down to us. Which one? Kitty. Oh, yes. Let me look you up. Okay. I still have a lot of free information, so that'll make this a little much easier. Remember her address? 1275 Pine Street. Mm -hmm. Great. Okay. And you were looking at which bobby bears? That would be hot chocolate and mocha. Okay. They're brother and sister. And then the other pair? Okay. Tom and Jerry. They were the ones, they were part of that litter that were fun with the pipe. Yeah. It was <laughs> quite the cartoon that you had scale. Yeah, that would have made perfect. And you don't have any other pets at home right now. Okay. And is it you, family? Or your husband? Okay. Great. Grandkids. How old are they? Okay. No, we just like, you know, I, I don't want to put anybody in a situation where the, they or the pets would be out of trouble. Right. Oh, yeah, they're on the top. <laughs> okay. Great. And when were you going to come down? Tomorrow? We're open until 10 p.m. 6 30. Great. Okay. Um, yes, I will be here. You can come in, just ask for me. I'll set you up with one of our adoption specialists. And then we can kind of go from there. Yes, that is an option. You can do the um, three-day, three-night home exploratory adventure, kind of, where they come home with you for three days, three nights, and then you can decide if they're a good fit for you in your home. Or you can do the, um, basically, you would be doing the fostering for them for up to 16 weeks. So I'd foster would be great. And even one of these bobby pairs has been fostered yet, so that'd be a really great experience for them. Even if you don't wind up getting them adopted with you, um, it'd be a good experience for them. Give them a break from, from kind of the chaos they're in there. We can try to keep the cat rooms quiet, but it is a very busy shelter. Right, okay. Yes, medical care, um, food, toys, blankets, um, you send them home with a cat tent if the cat's like that, which both pairs, I believe, let me look. Yes, both pairs like the cat tents. Um, oh, the boys like a tub. They'll be sent home with that as well. The vet visits, we can rearrange the schedule to make sure that um, are able to come down. We just ask that you provide transportation down and back. But we'll take care of all the bills and everything else. Any medication, shots. Yes. Um, Tom and Jerry are still getting their shots. One more round to go. Hot chocolate and mocha have all their shots that are up to date and they're both spayed. Okay. Tom and Jerry need to get spayed. Um, and whether you adopt or foster, that needs to happen in five weeks. And we'll pay for that, whether you do the adoption or the foster. Um, all spaying has been paid for by one of our local sponsors through the end of July. Actually, it is carrier, yes, carrier heating and cooling. And if you adopt with us um, before your um, period of fostering is over, they'll offer you um, a coupon over at one of the local pet sources near you up to $150 for supplies. And then they will also offer you a year coupon so for any heating and cooling. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a great deal. Okay, cool. So I got all your information, and we will see you tomorrow night. Thank you so much, Tina, for being interested in these. I will be so excited to meet you. Have a great day. Thanks. Thank you for calling Happy Hearts Rescue and Adoption Center. How may I help you? Yes. My name is Sarah. How can I help you? Yes, sir. Okay, Mr. Smith. Sure, thank you. 
and I'm not even interested in dogs or cats or both. Dogs in any particular dog that you like more. Well, any particular size, breed, a larger dog. Oh, great. Okay. Any particular breed? Interested in some of the pit mixes? Okay, great. Yeah, they don't get as much attention as some of the other dogs. Okay. And are you interested in the other female? A male. Okay. Do you have any dogs at home now? You do. A pit mix. Female. And is she spayed? What vet do you currently use? Okay. Oh, I have no idea. Yeah, and is it okay if we go ahead and request those records just so we have everything and we don't have to bother you with it tomorrow? Okay. I'll get those requested and then we'll know when they're coming tomorrow. 1 p.m. Sure. Okay. Great. You can take as much time as you need. Um, you can see up to 10 dogs. You can take them for a walk around our yard. Um, it, if you walk the whole yard, it is about a quarter of a mile. Um, you can spend some time with them in our adoption rooms. And then if you want, um, you can go out to the other yard that has some of the trick stations. And you can do some treat time with them, see what, what tricks they know or don't know, how they respond to you. Yes, you can bring your dog. Um, we can keep her comfortable in one of the adoption rooms until um, you've met the dog for a little bit and then you can introduce them out in the yard. Yes, we usually say 20 to 30 minutes minimum for them to get to know each other, feel comfortable around each other, then we can kind of make a decision with the adoption counselor. Oh, you got her from her. What's her name? As the one that you had when she was adopted. Kept it. Okay. You look her. Okay, so about two years ago. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. <laughs> I should remember when she came in. Yeah, the gentleman that brought her in was really worried about her. He just couldn't take any other dogs. Yeah. Well, I'm so glad. Oh, it'd be great if she had a pet for sure. Okay. Does that mean I know it's I'm sure she'll go with whoever you choose. Um, the longest rescue is something like we have Jax. He's been here just under a year. Uh, when he came in, he was just a street stray, no major health problems, did have fleas, um, otherwise, let's see, yeah, he's been great ever since he's been there. Okay, um, next oldest would be Maximus. He was hit by a car. He has a little bit of a limp, but nothing that gets in his way. And then the next list would be, um, actually would be, um, Maximus 2. <laughs> the guy who brought him a name from that, so he's Maximus 2 forever. Sure. Okay. Um, his story, he was on at a bus stop. And he's in pretty rough shape when we had him. He's still about 10 pounds underweight. It's taken a really long time to get him back to where he needs to be. We do a really slow feeding process, yeah. So he's been here about eight months. Um, he has a little trouble keeping weight on because he's super active. Okay, she, she's not so active. Okay. Um, and then we have Baxter. Baxter's been with us just about eight months. Um, his story, he has, okay, so he went to surrender from a puppy mill situation. Yeah. He was one of the breeding dogs. Looked like he'd been through some fights. His ears are clipped, as is his tail. Yes. Um, let's see, he is perfect weight. Health wise, he's great. He's a pretty low key dog, yeah. I've actually taken him on a couple of walks. He's very good on a leash. Very good. Doesn't let other dogs bother him. Super good. Oh, okay. Right, so that's top of the list. And then you want to see the other two. Okay, great. Well, we will see you tomorrow. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you want to do foster or adoption? Are you interested in adoption only? Okay. We do have the three-day, three-night, 
come home, we'll see you hopefully go home with you and your family. Right. Okay. Is this you? Right. Yeah, just you and your partner. Okay. Great. We'll see you tomorrow. One, thank you so much. These dolls will be so excited to see you. Thanks again.